Hello and welcome. My name is Frank Rathmann and I work within the Scientific Vacuum Division in the Application Engineering Department. At this point, I would like to talk a little bit about properties of the new NAXT 73930 that go beyond the vacuum technology performance data, especially with regard to the robustness of the machine. I will show some typical scenarios in which the machines are exposed to various loads and explain how we ensure that they are suitable for this. In coating applications, and not only there, turbomolecular pumps are quite often exposed to influences that put a strain on the machines. Mechanical shock, for example, is not an uncommon phenomenon in these applications. Whether it is a fast-moving handling system or the solid door of a batch coater, such devices often exert an impulse like mechanical stress on the turbo pump. Another example would be the use in fast load lock systems. Here too, a turbomolecular pump is exposed to an increased load, often operated outside its permanent performance limit for a short time. In these applications too, it is often subjected to additional mechanical loads. What I would also like to mention are the environmental conditions in which the pumps are operated in coating applications. Not every application takes place in the clean and air-conditioned atmosphere of a clean room. Often we have a more industrial environment in coating applications, which brings with it dirt and splash water, for example. And finally, there are the failures that can generally occur everywhere. Be it an unintentional shock ventilation or an exceptionally high impact load, for example, if a substrate is lost from the handling system. It is easy to see that two molecular pumps, in addition to their vacuum technology properties, must also have a certain robustness against the above mentioned influences in order to be used successfully in coating applications. How do we ensure that the new NAXT 73930 is suitable here? As part of the development project, the pump was subjected to numerous laboratory tests in which it had to prove precisely this robustness. Let me give you a few examples here too. As already mentioned, mechanical shocks are not an unusual phenomenon to which turbo pumps and coating applications are exposed. The NAXT has a lower mechanical ball bearing and an upper permanent magnetic bearing. To ensure that the magnetic bearing has sufficient stiffness to withstand the expected mechanical shocks, we have subjected the machines to extensive testing on a suitable shaker. We simulated real mechanical shocks measured in the field and tested whether the magnetic bearing is capable of holding the rotor securely. In this way, we were able to ensure that the machine is stable against expected mechanical loads. If the mechanical load exceeds the expected level, for example in the event of a fault, the NAXT 730 930 has a mechanical safety bearing that can catch the rotor in this case. The functionality of the safety bearing was also tested accordingly. During the tests, the turbo pump had to withstand 10,000 mechanical shocks that led to contact with the safety bearing without showing any damage. The operation in fast load lock applications was also sufficiently tested. In a suitable laboratory setup, the machine was operated in a typical scenario. The vacuum loads briefly exceeded the permanently permissible operating limits in each case, and permanent mechanical stress was also simulated. Here too, the next 73930 completed more than 100,000 cycles without any problems. To simulate use in industrial environments outside of air-conditioned clean rooms, the pumps were tested in an environmental simulation chamber. Various temperature and humidity cycles were applied. With its IP54 protection class, the NAXT 730 930 is well prepared for use in, in such an environment. Finally, I would like to say a few words about venting the pump. In general, the NAXT 730 930 allows a fast ventilation procedure. Within 30 seconds, the pump can be vented from full speed to atmospheric pressure. Faster ventings should be avoided. However, it is not unlikely, particularly during the commissioning phase of coating machines, that the machine will be shock ventilated due to a fault. Even if this is not the intended use of the turbomolecular pump, we would like to ensure that it has a certain robustness against this malfunction. To this extent, the NAXT 73930 was subjected to several shock vents on both the high vacuum and four vacuum sites during the test phase, which it survived without damage. I hope I've been able to give you a brief insight into the development work of the NAXT 73930 and what we have done to create a two molecular pump that not only has the necessary vacuum properties, 
but also the robustness required for coating applications. Thank you very much for your attention.